John Aiklesone from Boating New Zealand magazine. Uh, today we're aboard the Dickey 800 Custom. It's another fine example of a Dickey aluminium boat, 8 metres long, the biggest trailer boat in the Dickey range. It's headed to Auckland, where I'm sure its owners are going to be extremely happy. Very much a family fishing boat this one. It's got the option of sleeping aboard should you wish to. Quite interesting. It actually uses diesel instead of gas, which uh, is safer obviously. There's a diesel heater in this boat as well. And all the things you'd expect from a dickey vessel, beautifully finished. Uh, it rides very smoothly. 20 knots feels the same as 30 knots, it's quite surprising. So yes, a very high quality vessel from an exceptional builder here in Napier. So this is a great feature. Open this up. And it opens the whole space up between the saloon and the cockpit. The galley is here. Again, it's a really nice social layout and also great if someone's out of the cockpit. Some people are inside the boat, they can talk to each other, see each other, hear each other. So there's a very fisher-friendly cockpit. We've got all sorts of features here that are quite exclusive to Dickey Boats. This boat station top swivels away so that you've got great access to the live bait tank. Um, nicely designed worktop. Underneath there's a space for the ice box. Again, you can pull it out, easy to access. If you don't need it, you can just slide it away. Another nice touch. A little boarding step makes it that much easier to get in and out of the boat. So on the hard top, it's impossible to miss the huge uh, Garmin HD radome up there and also the FLIR camera which is on the highest point on the hard top and that can be adjusted to look ahead of the boat or to either side. So three of us on one side of the boat, there's hardly any heel at all. Very stable hull. Fantastic for fishing from. The Yamaha 300 horsepower four stroke. Uh, plenty of power for this boat, in fact it's a really nice match. That provides some pretty respectable performance, 35 knots plus uh, top end, a comfortable cruising speed anywhere between 25 and 30 knots, and also reasonable economy, around about 2 nautical miles per litre at around 21 knots. So you know you could go out to Great Barrier Island for instance from Auckland, you're probably only going to spend 50 or 60 dollars, so it's pretty reasonable. So on board for today's boat review we've had quite a few experienced boaties and it's interesting They've all commented on this boat's ride and it really is quite exceptional. It's very, very smooth and it's a very easy boat to drive as well. I, I probably can't emphasise that enough. Uh, you know, once it's set up and the, and the trim has been set correctly, it just pretty much drives itself. So, you know, if you're travelling any kind of distance, this would be a particularly comfortable boat. So if you were to take this boat away for the weekend, uh, you've got a, a few options in terms of, of sleeping. Uh, there's a full length berth in the forward cabin and room for a child there as well, so you could conceivably sleep two people there. Uh, obviously you've got the separate toilet, it's a manual flush toilet in a separate compartment, so there's no need to share your sleeping space with the toilet. Um, here in the saloon we can drop the saloon table and that forms another berth that would sleep two people quite comfortably. So quite a few options as far as sleeping overnight goes. Uh, this boat is fitted with the latest uh, Garmin electronics suite. We've got uh, dual screens, two MFDs, the GPS map 7412s. And it's perfectly customizable. Whatever you want to see, you can, you can watch on these screens. The, the system is a Garmin system, yep. um, twin screens. Um, I've got it set up so that they work basically um, as a single screen with these smart modes. So yeah, I'm finding the gear really easy to yeah. use. It also communicates with the Fusion Entertainment System via Fusion Link. Um, Fusion's also owned by Garmin, so it's a seamless interface, works perfectly. Um, you can also direct the pictures on the screen to the TV, which swings out so that you can see it from the cockpit. Alternatively, you could look at whatever's on one of these MFDs on a device like a phone or a tablet. So, you know, any number of ways of, of seeing the information that's being displayed. Dickey Boats supply this boat on a custom aluminium trailer. They build the trailers themselves. They're, uh, like the rest of the boat, a high quality product. It's a dual axle trailer, braked on uh, both axles. Um, 
with an electronic uh, electro over hydraulic braking system, sensor brake system. The trailer is also equipped with a stone guard protector, which is a handy thing to have that just protects the lovely paintwork of the boat. All up, the rig weighs 3.1 tonnes on the trailer. That's dry without any fuel. So if you fill it up with fuel, you're still going to come inside the 3.5 tonne limit. Uh, according to Jason Dickey, this is about as big a boat as he can build, but it still is legal on the road. So we've really enjoyed our time on the Dickey 800 Custom. Uh, obviously today the weather's not quite as nice as it was yesterday when we did all the running shots, but nonetheless it's been good to take the boat out in some somewhat different conditions and see how it goes with a bit more slop on the water. Thanks for watching this boat review on the Dickey 800 Custom and for more boat reviews like this go to our website www.boatingnz.co.nz John Acklesame from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.